Drones are priority. Ukraine seeks solutions for advantages over Russia. The development of unmanned systems is currently a priority for the Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces of Ukraine, Alexander Sirsky, according to his Facebook page. Technologies and technological advancements are the key to our advantage over the enemy. Unmanned systems occupy a leading position here. Therefore, the development of unmanned systems is my priority. In the armed forces of Ukraine, my deputy, hero of Ukraine, Colonel Vadim Sukarevsky, is responsible for this direction, writes Sirsky. As the commander-in-chief emphasizes, together with Sukarevsky, they are working on accelerating the implementation of technological innovations and ensuring the institutional resilience and adaptability of the designated bodies of military command of the defense forces. Sirsky stresses that the armed forces of Ukraine, in particular, should be equipped with the most effective and modern weapons. A separate focus is on training specialists in electronic warfare, unmanned systems, automated control systems, and so on. We are seeking asymmetric solutions to gain a qualitative advantage over a numerically superior enemy. We take a comprehensive approach to planning our needs, primarily considering the current battlefield experience, adds the chief commander of the armed forces. However, according to Sirsky, the most important task that technologies and innovations should fulfill is to save the lives of our military personnel. The Ukrainian army already has dozens of domestically produced drones in its arsenal. This includes not only unmanned aerial vehicles, but also surface drones. Earlier, Minister for Strategic Industries Alexander Kamishin announced that Ukraine had established serial production of a domestic counterpart to the Shahed drones. According to him, over the past year, Ukraine's defense industry has grown sixfold. Minister of Digital Transformation Mikhailo Fedorov announced that Ukraine had already caught up with the Russian Federation in terms of the number of long-range kamikaze drones. He also noted that soon there would be technologies that would allow military personnel to control drones while being far from the front lines. As President Volodymyr Zelensky stated, Ukraine aims to achieve maximum Ukrainian defense production by 2024 in its entire post-independence history. Putin scares world with World War III in the event of conflict between Russia and NATO. Russian President Vladimir Putin has said after the country's elections that should there be a conflict between Russia and NATO, the world would be one step away from World War III. Putin's response to the question of whether a full-scale conflict between Russia and NATO is possible? I think that everything is possible in today's world. However, the Russian president said it is unlikely anyone would be interested in this. It is clear to everyone that Russo-NATO conflict would be just one step away from a full-scale World War III, he added. The Russian president has said that it is no secret that fighters from NATO states are present on the ground in Ukraine, arguing that these service members are facing extremely grim prospects. Speaking to his supporters and the media after his presidential election victory, Putin stressed that Moscow is well aware of calls in the US-led military bloc to potentially deploy troops to Ukraine. We hear both French and English speech there. There is nothing good in this. First of all for them, because they die there and in large numbers, he said. French President Emmanuel Macron suggested last month that the West cannot exclude the possibility of sending soldiers to aid Ukraine. He later described Russia as an adversary, insisting, however, that Paris is not waging war on Moscow. Commenting on Macron's remarks, Putin noted that while NATO troops in Ukraine are expected to act as an auxiliary force helping Kiev train its military, this is not much different from what mercenaries are doing there now. Russia, he added, wants France not to escalate the conflict but to help find a peaceful solution to hostilities.